his milkshake, also known as Anya Donahue. I'm eight years old and I live in East Nashville, Tennessee. My dad, Chris Donahue, created Coltrane Railroad along with his friend and songwriter partner, Katie Bowser. <laughs> Now you may ask, what is Coltrane Railroad? Coltrane Railroad is a musical combo that plays jazz for kids and their grown-ups. In the fall of 2010, Coltrane Railroad was invited to come to New York a few months later and perform a concert in the David Rubenstein Atrium at Lincoln Center. It was going to be the first time that Coltrane had ever performed outside of Nashville, not to mention at one of the world's most famous cultural institutions. Now Nashville, where Coltrane is based, is a long way from the Big Apple. About 800 miles in fact, so the band was definitely going to need some help getting up there. And it wasn't just the band that needed to travel. Katie and her husband Kenny had just had a brand new baby girl named Story Jane five weeks before the concert date in February 2011. So there was no way Katie was going to be able to go without her family. To help make their Lincoln Center dream come true, my dad and Katie started a fundraising campaign on Kickstarter.com. Coltrane's fans and friends gave very generously to the campaign, and by the time it ended, the group had reached its financial goal with a little to spare. And so, on February 3, 2011, the Coltrane team boarded a plane bound for New York. When Coltrane arrived in New York, the first thing they had to do was meet up with all the other musicians and rehearse. Asen, the pianist, and Tanner, the drummer, who both live in New York, met up with my dad and Katie at Miyako, a beautiful studio in Midtown Manhattan that is set up especially for jazz musicians. They practiced all the songs in the set and talked about ways they could make the audience part of the band, too. I might just kind of leave the charge on the jumper. Yeah, I might totally. just jump. On the day of the concert, we got up early and walked up Broadway to the beautiful David Rubenstein Atrium at Lincoln Center. My sister and I helped set up the merchandise while my dad, Katie, and the band tested the sound equipment and talked over a few last minute details. Before long, and earlier than anyone expected, a stream of kids and grown-ups began to fill the room. There were cushions laid out on the floor right in front of the band for those who got there early enough, and there was even a special area for stroller parking. We're about 10 minutes away from our So many people came for the concert that there wasn't room for everyone. And a few people had to wait on the sidewalk until the atrium staff could make some more room inside. Once everyone in the audience had found a place to sit or stand, Miss Hillary, who works for Lincoln Center, got up and introduced Coltrane Railroad to the audience, and the show began. Oh, I can't hear you. Are you guys awake? When the concert was over, everyone was really happy. While Katie went out to say hello to some families in the audience and check on Kenny and Baby Story, Asen, Tanner, and my dad played a song by the famous composer Thelonious Monk, who grew up just two blocks away from where the Lincoln Center campus is located. It was an amazing experience that was made possible by the kindness of the band's Kickstarters. It won't be long before Coltrane Railroad makes another trip and introduces more kids and their grown-ups to the fun, creativity, and excitement of jazz. We hope to see you down the road. Now, stay tuned for more music by Coltrane Railroad. Anybody got a belly button? Did you find it? It's a good way to start start a show. Start at center. Okay, so your job is to find your belly button as necessary. Okay? 
Just as royal 